Listen to Professor Robert Pape of the University of Chicago, one of America's leading terrorism experts, who, unlike our esteemed opposition tonight, studied every single case of suicide terrorism between 1980 and 2005, 315 cases in total. And he concluded, and I quote, there is little connection between suicide terrorism and Islamic fundamentalism or any of the world's religions. Rather, what nearly all suicide terrorist attacks have in common is a specific secular and strategic goal to compel modern democracies to withdraw military forces from territory that the terrorists consider to be their homeland. And the irony is, when we talk about terrorism, the irony is that the opposition and the Muslim terrorists, the Al-Qaeda types, actually have one thing in common because they both believe that Islam is a warlike, violent religion. They both agree on that. They have everything in common. Osama bin Laden would be nodding along to everything he's heard tonight from the opposition side. He agrees with them. The problem is, the problem is that mainstream Muslims don't.